Hey everyone, so the snow is still, and ice is still kind of coming off of the uh, trees. It's still pretty cool out here, but the water in the bird bath has uh, not frozen, which is good. What I've got here is I've got some stuff from 84 Lumber. I've got some electrical boxes that I need uh, to do a little bit of work uh, in the office, along with some 12-2 uh, here. Some Romex. Got some 50 feet of that. I may use some of that in the RV uh, to upgrade some of the wiring I've got. Um, but what I also have here is some finished plywood, three quarter inch plywood. And I also have some uh, three sheets of, of Luan, which I'm going to use in lieu of the, uh, the plywood that I've got here, which is kind of like quarter inch plywood, but. Unfortunately, it's been it's been it's been exposed a little bit here, and it's just some of it's warped, and I really don't feel comfortable using it except for some other projects. So I'm going to just can that stuff. And you know, I had that one sheet of uh, of uh, plywood here in the RV. Had it all cut. It wasn't perfect because it was 24 inches wide. Uh, piece that I had and so it didn't quite fit in there, but you can see the top looks okay But then when you get to the back It's like extra crispy and I just I don't want to introduce this um, You know I already got this a pile of this in here. I Don't need to introduce this and you, anyone who knows Who lives in the southern regions whatever you see what that looks like that's termites getting in there chewing stuff up so Really, there's not none of them left in there now, but I just don't deal with it. I want to take this, put that over my my burn pile, my scrap pile, and call it a day. Along with my other cardboard stuff to see there. So I've got my old plywood piece that's totally shot. I'm not even use that to measure from anymore. Um, yeah, so I got that there ready to go along with a workspace project. I got gonna make some counter um, Top out of it and got the Luan to do the front So I got more than enough to get my work done in those couple of projects and thanks to 84 lumber For making a super quick delivery within like a two hours of ordering it They, they came up the driveway dropped it off guy was wearing a mask everything kept his distance uh, Did the handoff here got it up leaned it against the fence and uh, yeah, we've got some materials to uh, keep some projects moving along here. Thank goodness for home delivery, right? Well, I've hooked up back up my uh, battery, my uh, coach battery. As you can see here, I've restarted, hooked up and started back up the RV. She's running pretty smooth right now, which is nice to hear. Nice to hear that engine. Got some putt-putt going on that side. A little more putt-putt going on this side, which always seems to be a little uneven, but whatever. So we're gonna go inside here. Now you know I've got this converter started back up again. I got it installed. This is the new converter. Um, sorry for the lack of light in here. Let's see if we can get some things. Oh, look at that. That's lit up. Pretty good, too, actually. I don't have any lights in here, but there's the new converter. Doesn't sound like it's blown up yet. And uh, let's look at our status board. I have no idea this is going to work. We're going to do it. Oh, look at that. Son of a gun. It's at full. Luckily, my uh, fresh water tank is empty. Gray water's empty. Black tank is empty. The propane is at three quarters. And turn this on, and that responds pretty quick. So that's pretty nice. So that's working pretty good. As you can see, I got the obstacle course. <laughs> Let's see if we get a tooth in here. 
Got the heat on, blower's going. Gonna, just trying to go over up her a little bit. You can see here I've got my, I don't know if you can see this or not. It's got a bit of a flicker because the scan rate, 13.7 volts. It's about coincides with the gauge here. So that's pretty cool. Clock's way off, obviously. But I'm curious. I wonder with this uh, new converter and it's charging up the batteries really well. I wonder if I can start my generator. I know I have the choke issue going on. Um, but I'm wondering if I could flick on the start button. I might actually start up easier. We'll see. Sure. Light seems a little more steady than it used to be. Probably not. It definitely doesn't draw power as much as it used to. I'll tell you that right now. Um, before it would suck so much power down, I'd have to hit the emergency start button to kind of get things to going. We're going to try this again. Let's see if we can get the... Maybe not, just because of the choke issue. It was worth trying anyways. Although it looks like it dropped my, my, uh, oh, there it goes, 13.5. It dropped it down to a below 12 when it was starting. You could see it there for a second. But anyways, let that run for a little bit, warm it up. Let's step over a bunch of stuff. Ooh, there we go. Again, we're going to check the battery. It's at full. It's kind of cool. And uh, that's the strongest it's ever been since I've had this. Um, yeah, so we'll see if that's actually doing its job. And we'll go from there. Boy, just when you think the weather was changing for the better, we get these, I don't know, packing peanuts or whatever you call them. We're just, yeah, we're having a whole lot of fun here. Um, stuff's building up on the roof already. We got, uh, look at this, even building up on the GoPro, bouncing and everything off of it. Oh, I thought this uh, winter weather was going away. Well, maybe not so quickly. All right, I've got some products here. This is uh, waterproof flashing. This is uh, tight seal stuff. This is for houses, typically. But it's uh, aluminum backed. You pull this back off, it's an asphaltic uh, elastomeric. It's kind of like ice and water shield, but you know, it's like three and a half inches, four inches wide. I may use that to do in here. You can see I put in the new plywood. New plywood. Uh, cut it square. Apparently, the opening is not square because there's a gap here. And there's a gap here. So apparently everything's kind of skewed to one side a little bit. But, you know, hey, not going to complain too much. Going to seal this up. Going to use some of this product to do the edges, like flashing here and here. When I get the panel up, but what I'm also going to do is, uh, of course, also up here, is I'm going to uh, insulate these gaps and all this stuff in here this I'm gonna put another layer on here in order to make it punch out where I need to but I'm gonna use this stuff which is kind of what I call insult tarp it's a double bubble it's a double foil it fly out of the RV just really okay it's two layers of bubble wrap encased in foam 
and it comes in like you know two foot 18 inch or whatever pieces and you can put it up in here you can cut it to fit up in here and they usually do in two or three layers uh, it acts like insulation because it's kind of a reflective barrier and the nice thing is it's pretty inert insulation doesn't absorb moisture or anything and uh, you can cut it to fit and I usually use a little bit of super 77 spray mount and put it up in your spray the surface put that on spray it again put another layer spray it again put another layer and you know you get three good layers in there two three good layers and you're pretty well set and uh, gonna do that up in here with a bunch of layers the bubble wrap and that and uh, so there isn't anything to absorb moisture and yeah and I've got the Dometic uh, vent to go up in there and will be good to go here so like I said I've got the plywood basin which is great a new one that's not termite ridden and uh, yeah we're gonna get this sealed up and uh, ready to go to put this back in place and hopefully operational